Hello fellas, last time we did a Corsair dashboard with the help of some photo edge set. This time we are going to attack a out of the box invader dashboard. And sometimes we get to have a real gem of a dashboard right out of the box. Such is the case with ICM's 148 scale invader. The only thing that I will add here is the overhang on the shroud. This is pretty simple addition but gives the whole thing more realistic appearance. Now let's apply a coat of Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black. This will not only help us with the paint adhesion but will also be the main color on part of the dashboard. Since we have the rudder pedals molded together with the instrument panel, we are going to start the painting giving them the same treatment as the rest of the cockpit. This includes a layer of silver followed by some hairspray, then another layer of black surfacer and the interior green layer. After some chipping we can move on to the actual painting of the instrument panel. But before we do that let me present you the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for you to choose from and develop new skills, hone your existing arsenal or just explore for something new to capture your imagination. On the platform you can find everything from photography and web development to business analytics and productivity classes. My personal favorite so far is the fundamentals of DSLR photography by Justin Bridges. The way that he explains how to balance the exposure triangle is super easy to understand and I'm sure this class will help me to improve the quality of my scale modeling photography. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. The first 1000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore your creativity. Now let's get back to the tutorial. I am a firm believer in painting as much as possible with the airbrush. So after a careful masking we can apply a coat of RLM 66 on the higher layers of the instrument panel. It is an all black dashboard on the real airplane but we need more than that hence the different tones. Besides I don't really know how to add shadows on black surface. Recently I discovered the power of oil paints for dry brushing. I will describe how and why they destroy acrylics in a dedicated video but for now on I am using colors for this technique. For this application I am using some neutral grey to get highlights on the entire detail. After the dry brushing stage is done we can apply a layer of gloss varnish in preparation for the black wash. And here it does its magic flawlessly outlining the raised knobs and button details along with improving the definition of the individual instruments in the cluster. After a bit of cleanup it is time for a second layer of dry brushing. This time I am going to use a fine brush and I am going to focus on the bezels of the instruments as much as I can. Unfortunately not all are as crisp as they could be but it is what it is. The decals that come with this kit are nicely printed and more importantly each instrument face comes as a separate decal. This will save me a ton of work trying to cut out each circle. While it is a bit of a chore to place so many small decals which barely fit inside the bezels it's kinda relaxing. I mean you don't have to think much about it, put the decal in water, Put some sealant solution in the bezel, place the decal in, squeeze the excess solution out, align the decal if necessary and repeat that couple of dozen times. After all the decals are in position we can apply some softening solution and let it do its thing. Now let's turn our attention to the switchboard. Here we already have some nice definition going on but let's paint all switches with a silver base coat just on the top so we can preserve the outline from the black wash. Next I'll put a tiny drop of transparent amber paint for each switch on 4 switch rows. I will put a link to my reference in the description so you can see what I am trying to replicate. 
For the red switches, we will use some more muted red paint because a bright red color will overpower everything else and will draw too much attention. Using acrylic paint for the details gives us the benefit of easy correction if we get some paint where it doesn't belong. We can scrape that with a toothpick and forget about it. Also, if you notice, I painted some of the switches as a whole, so again using a toothpick I can remove the paint between the switches and have them look as individual details once again. Just like in the previous dashboard video, we have the optional step of the yellowing instrument faces. This time I'm going to use some sort of a marker simply applying the pigment on the instrument faces. Where this caught me off guard and surprised me was when I started applying the clear varnish to simulate the glass. Although the pigment had a couple of days to cure, it dissolved into the acrylic varnish, basically tinting it. But hey, no mistakes, just happy accidents, right? Who knew that you can tint acrylic varnishes with marker ink? Probably someone already knew that, but it was not me. Anyhow, with the clear varnish on the instrument faces, this dashboard is complete. And it looks quite good if you ask me. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy modeling fellas!